Aaron, what was your first impression of the new guys, both Anthony Rizzo and Joey Gallo? Uh, great. Um, you know, I thought both of them um, had really good at bats all night. You know, Joey smoked balls last time, just missed one to center there, had the walk, a lot of just, you know, long, heavy at bats. And obviously, Riz, Riz is kind of the offensive story of the night, a no doubter. Um, just great having those two presents in the in the lineup, obviously. But um, I, I thought I thought they settled in nicely and were, were comfortable and and just threw out really good at bat. Um, you know, good a, a good debut for for sure for those guys. I thought. Rizzo spoke on the field about how they just are trying to grind down pitchers. How much of a gauntlet could this offense be? I mean, that's absolutely. That's you know, that's kind of been our. When we've been at our best, it's been that kind of, you know, mantra, that kind of at-bats. You know, we saw that, that first inning, a little glimpse of it, even though we don't break through, you know, kind of we're on the brink of breaking through, and he's up over 30 pitches. And, and that's because of the quality at-bats. And we feel like the more we can do that over time, eventually you kind of break through with that. And, um, you know, we didn't get a lot tonight or didn't break through a ton tonight, uh, but enough. And, I, you know, I thought a lot of guys had good at-bats. What did you think of Stanton in the field for the first time in a long time? Good. I thought he looked really comfortable. Um, you know, his work's been really good lately. You know, I know Reggie's been kind of chomping at the bit, too, with him, just talking about how good he looks out there this past week and his work. And I thought he looked he looked at ease out there. Um, thought he moved well. You know, moved well deep in the gap on the ball. Judge, he made, made the catch towards the fence. Um, so it was good to get him out there, and and I thought it was, you know, a little bit like riding a bike for him out there. We can go next, Eric Boland. Aaron, when when that ball comes off of uh, of Rizzo's bat, can you just kind of describe the surge that you might have felt in the dugout, and that you personally might have felt as well? Yeah, it's, that's a when when you, when the, they clean out those no doubters especially in a close game a tie game at the time um you know that's it is a little rush of adrenaline where you just kind of you know it's it, it is exciting it is something that lights up the dugout and, and obviously you know him being the player he is and coming in in his first day and getting that kind of hit um w was pretty cool and i think it definitely uh electrified the guys a little bit and then the uh, decision to uh, pinch run Cortez in that situation, you just didn't want to use up uh, Gardner or one of those guys in just a, a pinch running situation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was going to, you know, that was kind of the plan going in that I was going to use Gio in a, in a spot, but well, he wasn't going to run. And, and you know, at that point, you know, I, I, yeah, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to use, uh, use another guy, you know, obviously, unless it's like a tied run situation, go ahead, so, something like that. Thanks, sir. Yeah. We can go next to Randy Miller. Aaron, in addition to what Rizzo and Gallo bring on the field, they're both personalities, have a presence, outgoing guys. Uh, did you feel that in the dugout, what they bring? Did you see some energy from them that maybe uh, lifted other guys? Yeah, they definitely have that, you know, kind of cachet and that presence. And, um, you know, I think, I think, I think they both, I thought everyone did a good job of welcoming them today, but, you know, I thought in, in what, and I've been in those shoes before where you're leaving an organization where you've been so long at the trade deadline and it's, it's a whirlwind. There's so many things going on baseball related, but, but outside of baseball moving places. And so it's just, an, it's, it's, it's a, a physically draining, mentally draining, emotional time, exciting time, um, and, you know, the, the more they can get settled in right away and comfortable with their teammates and, and just be themselves in the room, which, which I felt like they were, um, the better off we're going to be. Thank you. <laughs> we can go next to Dan Martin. Aaron, what do you, uh, what do you think has sparked uh, Tyone's recent run here of seven or eight games where he's been as effective as he's been? I mean, same as, again, going back to the Philly outing where, where he struggled and I think kind of examined and opened up the repertoire a little bit and it expanded his arsenal, you know, and got, you know, started incorporating two seam with slider change up to go along with obviously the four seamer and the curveball that he's been featuring all year. But I think he's just settled in 
uh, to the season. I think the more he's gotten out there on the mound is, you know, he's further away from not only injury, but I think, you know, missing a year and a half of, of being in competition uh, in major league competition. I think he's just gotten more and more comfortable, but I think he's gotten more and more comfortable with how to use his arsenal. And um, it was another big outing for him today. You know, I, I actually thought it was even a little bit of a grind for him and he just, he, 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 he got it done.